Hey guys, this is my third time trying to record this video without interruptions, so we'll see how this goes. But this is a mod for the release. Um, yeah, let's get into it. As you can see, my I have mods. <laughs> I have 29 mods, I believe. Um, so there we go. <sighs> Number one is block overlay. I've done this several times, so I'm trying to go fast because I'm bored at this point. Block overlay is the little um, square that goes around the block. Um, if you type slash block overlay, <laughs> you can change a bunch of stuff. Um, I have mine pretty like normal because um, it's just I don't know. I feel like this is a lot. Like if I'm trying to mine into closed space, it's just like a lot of stuff in the way. So I'm just gonna go to outline. It's just I like the white instead of the black. It's a little bit easier for me to see here. Um, so now, if you ever hear, oh, I should mention now, if you guys like want to download it, it's just going to be a zip file or something in the description. You don't need to watch the whole video. I'm just kind of going over the mods if you want to know it now. So if you just want the folder, it's going to be in the description. I'm not like having a like goal or anything because I don't even get likes on my videos, but you just go download it now. Have fun. <laughs> um, it probably won't be set up like mine and mine kind of takes a lot of work to set up. So if you might want to stay a little bit later, if you want to learn a little bit more about how to make it look like mine. But, um, yeah, so for the record, geez, that is very loud right in my face. Um, I'm playing at like 1600 by 900, I think, right now. Um, yeah, 16 by 900. Um, yeah, that's kind of all you need to know at this point. Um, after, we have the crosshair mod. It's what you see in the middle, my crosshair. That's why it's the same no matter what pack I use. So if I go into my controls, right up at the top here, open GUI, set to left arrow key, because it, it, it's like by, at the um, tilde by default, but I kept hitting it while I was fighting and trying to select one. So I changed it to something that I would not be pressing, which is left arrow key. So I press left arrow key, I can enable it, disable it, which is weird. I haven't played with a normal one of these in such a long time. And the only reason that I use this mod pretty much is just because I feel like sometimes like having, like it looks, I don't really like how the crosshair looks when it's like inverts or whatever to work with the colors or something. I don't really like that. So then having this just makes it a lot easier for me to see. Um, I also have an outline set to black with a like a low opacity because it's like really thick um, at 100% opacity. I don't really want that thick of an outline. I literally just want like a one pixel or something and this is like four or something, I don't know. But um, next one is pack display. You type slash, that's wrong one. I don't know what that mod is, Project L. So when we get to that later, I don't know what that is, <laughs> but it does something and I can enable it or disable it. So we have flash pack display. It literally just displays the pack I'm using and I can set the thumbnail on or off. I used to have the thumbnail on, but it's kind of big and in the way. So I just turned it off. With the packs like these that I've been using recently, which are from Notre Dame's like recent um, pack folder release, all of the little the text colors are messed up. So it's like, instead of that, I forgot what that symbol is called, but it's like the weird looking S or whatever. Um, it turns it to like a closed parenthesis so colors are messed up so i guess it would be easier for you guys to find the pack if i had the thumbnail on but whatever next mod is perspective mod this is from like hyperion or whatever and basically if you go to my controls um, it's down here perspective mod is c so i press c and then i can just look around my character without my head following me um i downloaded this mod when i was making my own skins like from scratch so that i could see the head a lot easier in, in the thing because I didn't do like a I don't know like go into some website or something and then test the skin out where I could just like move my 3d character but sometimes it's useful if I want to get like a cool looking angle or something I don't know I usually just do it like when I'm in a combo lobby and I'm running back and forth I get like a cool sometimes I'll even turn on shaders or something because I have so much time like this is just like a cool you know random dramatic angle I feel like but whatever next mod is Pwn's Potion Hood for the record, I love anything that Pones makes. All of his mods are really well done. So more often than not, if he makes a version of the mod, I'm going to use that version. Um, but his potion HUD is incredible. Um, it goes in extremely in depth. You can resize it here. You can change the numbers to be Roman numerals. Um, all these stuff. Show in chat. I don't really know what that is. Oh, when you have the, your chat open. Um, you can scale it down and stuff. I have it really, really small. And then you can edit each individual effect. So as you can see, I have like health and I renamed it from like absorption to health plus. <laughs> um, and I made it bold and gold. So it's really easy to see. But then stuff like strength is bold and it's like red and speed is italicized because it's speed. 
fast. So you can just edit all of them individually. And it looks a little bit weird because of my GUI scale, but we'll go over that more in a little bit. Um, and I don't really, you know, like I edit this mod once and then I don't really want to open it up again, but I've always wanted to really customize Potion Hood and he delivered on that. Next one is Pwn's Toggle Sneak. For the record, this is also, the, um, I said for the record a lot, I'll try and stop. This is also the farthest I've got into this video so far without being interrupted, so that's kind of nice. Uh, if we press escape and then options and then toggle sneak options right here, it kind of messes up with the five zig one, but as long as you don't press it like in the middle here and just kind of go over to the right where they don't overlap, you should be fine. There's a bunch of settings, obviously, because it's pones, pones is technically. So make sure you have toggle sneak disabled because then you might be banned from Hypixel. I don't really know what the rules are about this, but I get banned. Another player has been removed for cheating. That's that happened in the last run, too. So you have all these different options. Um, you can change the text. I have it set to these things if you cared this is this is the color for all of them the only thing i don't like is that um you can't change colors for individual ones it just this color is the same for all of them for example if i change it like over to something like this it just changes for all of them i forgot what is that like 237 um and also it i would all, it'd also be cool if you could change each individual letter but i feel like it's that it's like a lot of work so whatever um, keep sprint is cool, but it doesn't really work. I wanted an auto sprint that um, would stay on Like when I switched duels games because sometimes I'll play a new mode and then my toggle sprint would turn off Which is kind of annoying and like I've lost a couple of fights like on that um the sky wars duels map where you can like rush to mid pretty easily By like jumping up onto the log and then the stone and into mid You can't make that jump if you're not sprinting even if you splash your speed I'm pretty sure so there were some times where I just was going so fast. I didn't notice that it didn't say combo grandmaster or whatever in the bottom corner and I would splash that, I'd jump up and then I'd get, make, go for the jump and then I would just would fall short because I didn't have my sprint on. So it's definitely annoying, but um, the only one that works is Badline's auto sprint or toggle sprint, but I really don't like Badline client just because of how uncustomizable the mods are in comparison to using my forge stuff. So not like, I don't want people to think, like a, it's a weird situation for me because um, I don't want people to think that I'm cheating because I'm not using Badline Client, but at the same time, I want to do what I want, and I feel like I've done enough to prove that I'm not cheating. So whatever, I shouldn't. I don't even know why I care so much about cheating. That makes it more suspicious. <laughs> but um, cool. The next mod is Reach Display. It's in the bottom right, right there. I think it. Okay, yeah. So it does work with that. Um, it's like if you like if I'm punching the ground, it doesn't do anything. It's, it just says has an attack. But if I go and punch like an entity, you can see. Oh, my reach is right there. You can hit like nine blocks, or three blocks. Oh, he goes right out of the three block distance. I'm standing just on the cusp. If I move like one pixel forward. Yeah, there's three blocks right there. <laughs> oh, it's like up a little bit. Oh, I can't hit it. Yeah, like right there. There's three blocks. So anyways, you can see that's how it works. Um, it just... It's pretty simple if you type slash reach. Nope. Slash reach display mod. Is this one's not a whole a lot custom a lot customizable? I kind of wish that I could just disable it saying hasn't attacked. I think that's something that you can do on the badline client one and just have it say zero or something. Like that would literally be better. Because I feel like this is just kind of big. Like you can enable it and disable it, but whatever. That's also annoying. Um next mod is Oh, I just totally skipped a sidebar mod revamp. Um, this was a new mod. It's, it's actually an old mod, I think, but I just found it and it allowed me to do all the stuff I wanted because if I type slash sidebar mod, now I have all these different settings where I can rescale it and I can disable the background. That was something I really did like about Badline Client. Um, you can disable the background for this because the background is actually kind of, oh yeah, the background is, no, this is not the right button. Yeah, the background is like pretty big. I feel like it just kind of takes up a lot of space. And also, there's like this weird glitch where you can't set it to zero, else it'll look like that. So you gotta set it to like one or two or something. So that's whatever. Um, and then yeah, I scaled it down too because it was kind of big and for my liking. And I just wanna. I, I've basically I've been downloading a bunch of individual mods, like excessive amount of mods, just to clean up my screen a little bit and make sure that everything is rescalable. And I'll literally go, I went a little bit extreme with that too, so you guys, you'll see that in a, a second. Um, after reach display, we have auto friend, which is pretty simple. It just 
when somebody sends me a friend request, it just automatically accepts. Um, it's weird, and it, like I don't know why. I guess I like I understand why people don't have this on, like, and don't accept friend requests, because I mean I'm like a duels player, so generally people friend me to like be toxic or something. But I actually like that because recently, um, I've just been taking screenshots of people who are toxic to me, and I'm gonna put it into a video soon. So that's fun. Um, just because sometimes people say some funny stuff, and I like seeing what type of accounts will accusate me. So, anyways, um, auto GG. Everybody knows what that mod is. It just says GG after the game, so then you get your 25 karma that does nothing. So that's fun. Next, we have Chroma Hood, and then this is I used to use this mod for everything, but now I've kind of started using Five Zig for some stuff and stuff like that. <laughs> So basically, um, right here, it's displaying my armor HUD and just my FPS and ping up here. Pretty much, I think that's it. Um, basically, because of my GUI scale right now, I can't actually click on it, but it's okay because I don't really want to change it anyways. Um, but yeah, it's just a simple. If I could, I guess, I guess if I make something new. And this one's by Skier, I think. I'm pretty sure this is by Skier. Um, so it's just got a lot of customization. This is a really nice color palette that he's got right here um, Or chroma or RGB or whatever whatever you like. So if you made something that was really big and there's all these different items I don't see I don't see counter like that. Um, so if you just to get like direction right here Did I click FPS? I feel like I definitely click direction. Oh So if I got to go like this yeah, because it's because of my thing. It just doesn't work quite right Um so yeah, you can change all the stuff about it. So I'm just gonna remove item and then go back and then delete. <laughs> so yeah, it's just really customizable. And I I like being able to toggle on and off the background because like with FPS, that's generally something I want to be able to see no matter where I am. And I kind of like having it highlighted up there, but then ping and stuff is not as important. So yeah, you know what I just realized I could do is I could turn on a shadow. Because that definitely makes the sidebar mod a little bit easier to see. So I feel like that looks kind of satisfying now. But um, yes, moving on, we have Frames Plus, which is a skier mod. I don't actually, I, I literally didn't notice a single difference using this, if I'm honest. But this may or may not actually do something. Um, it might have reduced stuttering. I can't really tell though, because I don't know if that's just a different setting that I changed. But, you know, it wouldn't hurt to have it, right? And that's, yeah. Um, then we have GUI scale. This is where I created a lot of issues for myself, but I also kind of solved a big issue I had. So I really struggled with my resolution for a while because, like, I don't really, I don't know, I I don't like playing in 1080p because I feel like it just it makes my game stutter a lot. But then playing in 1600p, it fixes it a lot, or 900p, I guess, is technically what you'd call it, 600 by 900. Um, and I'm not too worried about my game looking all pixelated and stuff because it really doesn't. It's not that bad. Like, as if I need to read something from that far, I can just zoom in. Like, and I can I can use the five zig zoom too and just be like, Pew! I can zoom right in, count those pixels, boy. But yeah, so if if I type GUI scale and then like a number, it'll basically change like the whole scale of my thing. So if I set it to like ten, it'll just make the GUI big. So for the record, I have it on um, 0 0.02. So I think it's like a multiplier or something. So then I have it set to 0 0.02, and then it always messes up the keystrokes, but that's okay. So that's why, um, like the stuff up there, my chroma HUD doesn't work because that GUI, it's just it's scaled like that. It's go 0.2 percent, 0.2 times smaller. So. I don't know, it just doesn't work for whatever reason, and it's not its not a big deal, as I said before. But um, it also, I just did it because I, I like 1080p because it, I could stay on um, normal GUI scale, and then stuff would be small. So then changing to 600p, or 900p, for the FPS boost, it just, I felt like my GUI was too big. So then I downloaded a GUI scaler, and I made it very slightly smaller. <laughs> I, don't, I don't actually know if this is the same size as um, 1080p. But it's I like it. It's good enough for me. Um, then we have memory fix, which probably does something. I don't know. I just have those mods because you just have them, right? You don't notice them. 
Um, then I have no close my chat, which is honestly like the best mod that I have. Um, so like there's stuff like, uh, just like small stuff where like if I'm talking before, um, if I'm typing in chat before like a combo game starts or something, and then you know how it like teleports you because it gives you all those items and it, like resets your, um, like your view or whatever. If I'm typing, I can keep typing and it doesn't like close my chat. So it's, it just doesn't, no close my chat. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's also a very annoying thing about Badline Client. It's just it, the lack of having that mod. <laughs> and I didn't realize how much I used it until I tried to main Badline Client um, during the uh, the end of the dual season where I didn't play combo. And I, because Badline Client literally removes the stutter from my game. So I, I really am upset that I can't use it because I really like my Forge mods. But yeah i used badline client and it didn't have that mod and it literally like i just stopped using it sort of um anyways next mod is old animations everybody knows this mod everybody has it um because hypixel is a 1.8 server and you get it's, it gets rid of all those 1.7 animations that are cool like uh the block hitting animation and like punching blocks while uh double clicking or whatever like punching the ground while you're eating and stuff. Basically, if you press escape, you click animations up here, turn on all these different things. Some of them I, I can't notice, like um, place and build and like the rod and stuff. I guess it makes the rod smaller. Uh, debug mode, I don't really notice. Damage, stuff like that, I can't, I don't really notice that much. I like the crosser, obviously. Um, I don't know what these coming soon ones are, but I don't know. And then if you go up here, you can view the change logs, look at some other mods, like left handed mode, which is cool. No inventory moves, so like when you have potions effect, it would shift your inventory. Um, the boss bar, I don't like the boss bar because it's just kind of in the way again. Cosmetics, I did, unfortunately, buy some cosmetics, as you guys can see. Um, unfortunately, I, I kind of like them. Um, I wish I did get the black and white wings, though, because it doesn't really fit my aesthetic. But, I don't know, it's kind of cool. I like the Naruto headband, though, that's kind of nice. And it wasn't too expensive, so I don't feel that upset about it. <laughs> Um, next we have Optifine. It's it's Optifine, bro. You, you know, you know what Optifine is. I pretty much have all the settings off, and uh, I usually have my render distance at five. I'm, I have my frame rate capped at a hundred because it tends to reduce stutter a little bit more. I feel like having it at one twenty, which is what I used to have on, there was still a little bit of stutter there, but this it actually reduces it a lot. Like I did not expect it to be this big of a difference because I felt like my FPS was just I liked seeing it it hit like really high numbers. But now I also like not having stutter, so keeping at 100, just keep it keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Um, particle mod. If I press right shift for whatever reason, I don't think that's what it's um, natively set as. I don't know where it is on here. That must be where it's natively set as then, because I can't find the thing. So press right shift. It just gives me a multiplier for particles. Um, I don't really know. I can show that off, but I used to use particles for combo, and that was like my favorite part of combo. Seeing all those particles when you hit the person up and down, but then I actually started to get competitive with it, and I realized it was really hard to see people with all those particles. So that's why I turned my particles on minimal, and then I just kind of turned a lot of these off. So I only have the fireworks on because, like, it, with the some thing, I don't know what it is, but it, it has like the particle explosion or whatever, the firework explosion and that lags me a lot but I also like this tornado thing so I keep it on for that <laughs> the next mod is player API again I don't know what that is but I figure it does something um, project L that's another one I don't know what it does um, but I can enable it or disable it I guess with that command so quick play literally the only reason I don't use um, or the biggest reason I don't use bad on client press R or whatever you just to set it as wherever it is uh, it's somewhere I don't know where it is <laughs> but I press R and it opens this quick play menu and then if you type quick play there's like a couple of commands quick play there's just a bunch of stuff um, quick play config Gives you a ton of settings. I didn't even know that these were here for the longest time until I tried until I had this GUI scale thing. So then I wherever it is, I scaled it that way. And then I decided to make it this compact mode 
where basically it's just a little picture here and not like a, a title or whatever. So then I can click this and then join any number of game modes. That's how I um, cue dodging combos. I pretty much just press R, click right here, click over here, and then it just joins me into a new game instead of I have to go back to the lobby and I fly all the way over and then I click the little dude. Um, I'm trying to go a little bit faster because this mod, this video is getting a little bit too long. And then we have render player API, which does something again. I, and apparently it's different from player API or whatever because my game like crashes without it, I think. Um, then we have resource exploit fix, which is something that Skier was talking about. I don't know what it was, but I don't want to get hacked. So I downloaded it. <laughs> um, resource pack organizer. I do like this mod. I can't really showcase it right now too much. Um, Cause I just have Notre Dame's pack folder here if it ever loads. Um, with just a bunch of packs here. Um, this is probably part of it, I guess. Um, but I usually keep my packs in folders. I have it divided into like playful packs and then like serious packs. And then I have packs that I make just separate from that, like normally. So then like I, I'm, I have this pack folder here and I took my packs out because I want to look through these and keep the ones that I like. Um, so generally stuff like this pack and I don't know, just like pretty generic packs, I guess. Um, like this pack and the Tyler's pack. I would put those into bad, not necessarily because they're poorly made, but just because there's nothing special about them. Like if I'm ever bored of my packs with like the more complex textures and stuff, like I generally, I'm drawn towards the default edits. So if I get bored of default edits or like 16X packs, then I'll go over here to these, these cool, different packs and they seem new because they're like like you know like the 256 swords but like the 16x blocks so it's just like the pvp type packs and i'm not i'm usually not used to those because i play with like the default edits or whatever whatever uh, whatever <laughs> um the next mod is the skier keystrokes mod this is by far the best keystrokes mod that there is at least in my opinion um, obviously um and of course it's by skier because he makes he makes good mods too him and Pones are really up there with the best mod makers for this game. I think it's kind of known. Um, I've been using this for a while. I just recently added the space bar as well because all those times where I run and then I can't show people that I actually did press space, <laughs> but whatever. So we have um, a couple of random hotkeys on there that I thought people, it might be nice to know. Like we have F here, which is my auto sprint, toggle sprint or whatever. R, which is quick play, and then V, which changes my perspective. Generally, I feel like people generally have these keys set to like their hotbar, but I have my mouse for that, which is actually now in the description of my videos, if you guys didn't know that. I have my PC set up um, in the description of my videos, along with some other like FAQ. Not that anybody really cares, but just like if you were wondering. Um, and then after this, we have the skier level head mod. I feel like a lot of people have this mod. It's just literally your normal level head just displays the level i haven't bought any of these extra things because i don't care i used to like i used to change it between um like all these different things and stuff but who really cares like for duels i kind of had it set to wins for a little bit because i could see oh this guy's actually probably going to be good when i fight him but who knows i just keep it on level um the next mod is five zig this mod there's literally so much to this mod i can't even like it's a whole separate video in itself that people have made um it's an incredibly complicated mod but i don't use it for very much like there's all these different settings with TeamSpeak and plugins and servers and friends and stuff there's just a lot that you can do or you just add these modules which again messed up by the um gui scale but i just know that this top one is cps and this bottom one is a uh, time so you can see my time up in the top left under my ping and then my CPS. I, I only downloaded 5 Zig because I was watching Wilmington and I really liked his CPS. And he has it divided up so that like Badline Client. Because uh, I don't like having the, um like with the uh, keystrokes up here, or if I show math buttons. What? So, oh, right here. Yeah, seeing the CPS, because also you can't really see it. Uh, God, did I do this right? I don't have CPS, so I have my CPS down there because it's really easy to see and I can make it bold and stuff. Yeah, my, also another really nice part of 5Zig is you can obviously change the color of text, not RGB though. It's like set colors, like the default like colors for text in like Minecraft, I think, which is kind of weird. 
but I don't know, it seems pretty easy. Like most people's setups are pretty basic color schemes. So I just have mine set to white and bolded with a shadow. Um, it's just a really clean look. And it's since it's bolded, it's very easy to see my CPS. So there's also a glitch where if I, oh, I do not want to play this game. <laughs> Um, if I like double clicked for a certain amount of time, then it would, um, my right clicks would be shown as like my both clicks combined. It's like you'd seem to have like 11 uh, or 10 sort of CPS left clicking, but then like 20 when I was right clicking. So that was sketchy, but it's okay. It's that, that, that issue seems to be gone now. Not like there was an update or something, but it just doesn't happen anymore. And then the last mod is Vanilla Enhancements. This mod also does a lot. Um, if you type this, there's just a bunch of different like random settings, just like ease of life sort of things that you change about Minecraft. And then I, I really recommend if you have this mod, you literally go through each individual thing and then think about if this thing actually affects you. Because this is just literally stuff that you don't even think about. But I definitely do like it. Um, so yeah, that is my mod review, mod review, it's my mod pack thing, um, yeah, hope you guys have fun, um, yeah, see you guys later.